Snow leopards are a territorial and extremely elusive species. Their harsh natural habitat has made it difficult for them to be documented in the past. But at the Cat Survival Trust in Wellin, home of 11 snow leopards, they are eager to pose for the camera. This is Oreo. She is one of three cubs that were born here at the Cat Survival Trust in Wellin on the 1st of September 2008. Oreo is a rather special cat to us because unfortunately when she was nine weeks old her mother accidentally fell on her back and for ten days this poor cat couldn't actually walk so we had to bring her into our house and although she had been reared by her mother up until that time, we then had to look after her in our own home uh, to make sure that she was going to recover and survive. She's doing very well. She's had a number of problems during her recovery. Some periods she stopped eating, some periods she stopped drinking. She had one or two infections while she was in the house. Uh, but so far, all of the problems that have occurred, we've coped with. And she's now, as you see, very active. It is because of human influence that the snow leopard population is rapidly decreasing, leading to the creation of charities like the Cat Survival Trust. It is argued that having such animals in captivity is unethical and will end with a population of tame snow leopards. We very rarely have a tame cat like this. We don't try and tame any of the animals that we have passing through here. Some may only be here for a short period whilst we're waiting for a, a mate uh, and then it goes off to another collection. But occasionally, when uh, a cub or a kitten is rejected by its parents, or on this occasion, when we had an accident and the cat definitely wouldn't have survived if we'd left it with its parents, it's inevitable that you get the odd cat, like this one, that is humanised. She, of course, has become very special to us. And it's quite likely that this relationship will continue. We currently have 11 snow leopards here at the Cat Survival Trust, which is the biggest collection of snow leopards in Europe. The reason for having so many snow leopards here is purely because in the future we intend to be working with the Indian government to re-establish more snow leopards back into the foothills of the Himalayas in North India. The Himalayas is a vast mountain range, stretching 1,500 miles across six countries. It wasn't until 2004 when a group of cameramen from the BBC's Planet Earth series captured the first wild footage of the snow leopard. Reintroducing the snow leopard is not easy. One of the main problems is that many of the areas around the foothills of the Himalayas are war zones or they're politically unstable. This means that in some areas they're already being eliminated by troops who take pot shots at anything that moves, but also these are areas where we can no longer release these back into the wild. The habitat of the snow leopard is quite harsh. They used to be found all the way around the Himalayas, but sadly in many of the countries bordering the Himalayas they are now extinct through hunting and through loss of habitat. Naturally one of these could live up to 15 years in the wild, but there's no guarantee that this will happen. Many starve to death because they can't find any food. Many fall to their death on the very harsh environment, the cliffs, the mountainsides. Many get kicked, 
and damaged by the prey species that they go after. And the snag here, of course, is that once they're injured, they're no longer able to hunt. Unfortunately, humans have encroached more and more into their own habitat, and this has put extra pressure on the survival of this very rare species of cat. There are now thought to be perhaps no more than 800 of these left in the wild. Interestingly, most cats, including snow leopards, do mate for life. In the situation where snow leopards are, we now have a, a situation with only 800 left in the wild that they don't actually have much opportunity of finding new mates anyway. These will breed once every other year and that's because the young stay with the mother for at least 18 months while they're being trained on survival techniques so that they can then go off and establish their own territory. Even though Oreo won't actually be going back into the wild herself, she could well provide the young which can go back and therefore as an ambassador of her own kind, she is very important to us. Cubs like Oreo are vital to the survival of their species. Without her sacrifice and the hard work of dedicated organisations like the Cat Survival Trust, there may not be many more opportunities to see the world's most elusive big cat. Progress is slow, but it is hoped that with patience, perseverance and time, the snow leopard will once again dominate the Himalayas. They say never work with children and animals. <laughs>